Hi, we're glad to be here again today. Mm -hmm. So today, our story is about another tax collector. <gasps> Do you remember what we learned about tax collectors last week, though? They steal. That's right. So, a long time ago, tax collectors were seen as the villains because... They sometimes took money off the top, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, this tax collector's name was Z Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. And um, I'm reading from this book today. It's a little different. But it's still the same. It is. It's a story. This, But it has great pictures in it. Now, look at this guy. He is writing something. But look, something. look at his size. He is very tiny he is very tiny he is little have you ever felt little mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. uh-huh so he's little in this story and it's sort of metaphorical about how he's little sometimes you feel little sometimes you feel small right in this big old world of ours right does jesus think you're little or small he does not Zacchaeus was too little. He was too little to reach high things. He was too little to see over big things. And one day, Zacchaeus almost didn't get to see Jesus because he was too small. He was too little. Jesus is coming down the street, somebody said. Let's go out and see him. Do you think people were excited? Now, Zacchaeus wanted to see what Jesus looked like. So when other people hurried outside, Zacchaeus hurried out too. I see him. The little street was full of mommies and daddies and grandpas and grandmas and uncles and aunts and boys and girls and friends all wanting to see Jesus. That's a lot of people. A whole lot of people. Here he comes, a man shouted. Here comes Jesus now. I see him. I see him. I see him too. You see him too? I'm too. Zacchaeus tried to see too. First he looked this way. Then he looked that way. He's really small. He's really having trouble seeing him, isn't he? Yeah. But there were too many people. And Zacchaeus was too little. He couldn't see Jesus at all. Oh, no. What is he feeling right now? Sad. Sad. What shall I do? Zacchaeus thought. I know. I'll run and climb the big tree. And then I can see him. Where's the big tree? I'll see. Two little Zacchaeus started to run. Go, Zacchaeus. Go fast. He came to the tree. Climb, Zacchaeus. Climb. There he is. Yeah. Now Zacchaeus was up high. He could see the daddies coming and the, and the mommies and the grandpas and the grandmas and the uncles and the aunts and the boys and the girls and the friends and then. And then, you see them all right there? And then <gasps> Zacchaeus saw Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Jesus stopped at the big tree. And he looked up right at Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, he said, hurry, come down. I'm coming to your house. Is that Jesus? That's Jesus. Well, two little Zacchaeus did hurry. He went down that tree fast. And then happy Zacchaeus took Jesus home for dinner. Aww. What did you learn? Jesus knew Zacchaeus was in the tree. He even knew Zacchaeus' name. Name. Jesus knows where you are all the time. He knows your name too. I love that story. Because there are times where I feel small in this big old world, in this big old world of wonderful people, and I think, well, who am I in all of this? But do you know who knows who I am? You know who knows my name? 
Jesus. Jesus, that's right. So our activity has to do with our name today. And so you just need crayons and watercolor, and it'll help you remind yourself that who's who always knows your name. Jesus. Jesus always remembers your name. That's right. Even in the hard times, even in those woeful times, yeah. he's looking out for you, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go get our stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do a magic trick. What's magic. this called? It's called crayon resist. It is. It's called crayon resist. So, we wrote, I just have a plain piece of white paper, and I wrote a special message in, uh, in what color? I guess. White. white. I wrote a special message in white. And paint, now, paint. I want to paint. I want to paint. I know, paint. we're both going to get to paint. And now we're going to take this water and make, and make our special, our very wonder, something very wonderful about ourselves that Jesus always knows. We're gonna make it appear. Has there anybody ever been anybody in your life that did something that made you angry or upset and made it kind of hard to be their friend, Mei Um, Not really, actually. Not really? <laughs> well, I have. I've had people in my life that I kind of had trouble forgiving. And I think that's just part of being a person, I guess. But that's what's really special about Jesus is that even when somebody does something that a lot of people might think is rotten, if you go to them and you ask for forgiveness, guess what? They'll give it. Jesus will give you forgiveness. That's right. And I think it's something that we all need to remember and be kind of like Jesus. And then, you know, people who've made us sad or hurt our feelings or done something that we just didn't really agree with. It's important that if they're asking us for forgiveness, that that is, a, that is something we can give because sitting there and stewing on it, it doesn't help anybody, right? No. And so just think about Jesus in those moments. That's All right, that. are we ready to show our magic? <gasps> Ooh. It's my name. Taylor and Mary Manning. So, I bet Jesus knew that we wrote our names even before we painted them, yeah. right? I bet he knew it because he knows our names, right? He knows, he knows Taylor and he knows Mary Manning. He knows inside our hearts. He knows our names, and that's a wonderful feeling mm -hmm. to me. I hope y'all have a great week, and we will see you next week. Oh, and happy Halloween, right? Ooh. I bet Jesus also knows our costumes. You want to tell everybody what you're going to be? I'm going to be a ringmaster. A ringmaster, which goes with brother, who's going to be a? Lion. Lion. All right. Well, happy Halloween, guys. Bye. Ooh.